Whatever your life story, you deserve access to comprehensive, affordable health insurance. But it can be hard to know where to start. That's why Minnesotans have Minsure. Minsure is where you can find health coverage for every Minnesota story, regardless of where you live or what your income is. Minsure is the only place where you can access savings to help lower the cost of your health coverage. And you can get free help in person or over the phone to enroll in a plan that fits your needs and your story. Visit Minsure.org today to get started. Finally tired of doing the same things over and over again, expecting different results? Well, this show is going to help you change your life for the better. Strap on your seatbelt and navigate this roller coaster we call life with human potential expert and best selling author, Dr. Verna Price. Each week, Dr. Verna blesses you with her virtues to live your best life so you can be the best you that you can be. Welcome to Dr. Vernon's Virtues. Great to have you back. And um, for those of you who are brand new to Dr. Vernon's Virtues, um, welcome and listen in and tell your family members and your friends too. All right. We always get started with an affirmation. So let's go ahead and get that done. Um, today, we're going to really focus on the change affirmation. So go ahead and put your hand on your heart and repeat after me. This is my life and I get to change it when I want to, how I want to, if I want to because it was given to me. And that makes me very valuable, very important, very lovable, and extremely powerful. Just know that you have enough power right now in your life to change your life. For anything you want to do in your life, you have enough power right now in your life to change it. So you notice that I'm wearing a sleeveless. And um, for those of you who know me, you know that I live in Minnesota. Right now outside, it is mm, maybe 10 degrees. This morning when I woke up, it said it was 5 degrees. In other words, it is freezing outside. And so when I went outside, I had to put on my big coat and I had to make sure that I was prepared for the weather. But guess what? I'm in my office. And I'm in, in my own space. I'm in my own environment. So I don't have to wear a big coat in here. Why? Because I have heat. Because I've turned up the th thermostat. I have heat in here. I can control this environment. So I can wear my short sleeve. And guess what? And act like it's summer because right now in my office, it's summer. It's 75, 80 degrees. And it feels great. So what does this have to do with you? I was recently in a situation, um, and this all involved women. And in this situation, um, um, I was busy talking to one woman when another woman came into the room. And immediately, the woman who I was talking to, she immediately got uncomfortable and she kind of turned into this other person and she, she began agitated and very shortly she decided that she was going to leave. Now, mind you, we were having a good conversation. There was no reason for her to be leaving, but the temperature in the room changed and the temperature in the room changed, not because I changed it, the temperature in the room changed because this other person changed it. So here's what I want you to think about. I want you to think about how to take your environment with you and how to make sure that you control your environment and not allow somebody else to control what kind of environment you're going to have. Environment meaning what's going to be your emotions like? What are your emotions going to be like? Environment meaning, what's your focus going to be like? Environment meaning, how you're going to talk, how you're going to come across. That's all your environment. That's all you deciding what's going to be the temperature in my house. What's going to be the temperature in your house? And for you, your house is you. You take you wherever you go. So what I say is take your environment with you because you really are and refuse to allow somebody else to dictate your environment. And so what does that mean? A couple of things. First of all, wherever you go, however you go, you decide who you want to be, period. You decide what kind of emotions you're going to have. In other words, you don't allow somebody else to tell you, to dictate to you how you're going to feel 
whether or not you should stay somewhere, whether or not you should get up and go, whether or not you should get uncomfortable. You don't, you don't give that much power to somebody else. I don't care who walks in the room. If you know who you are, what you do is you take a deep breath and you keep being yourself. You don't all of a sudden adjust to being yourself because what someone else walks into the room. That's a lot of power to give to somebody else. How is it that you're going to allow somebody else to chase you out of your own room? To chase you, some of you even allow people to chase you away from your jobs, to chase you away out of your relationships. Somebody have allowed somebody to chase you out of your marriage, to chase you out of your business, to chase you out of your church, your synagogue. How are you going to allow that? Why? Because you are not controlling your own environment. So number one thing to control your own environment is you be clear about what it is that you feel, how you feel. And you stand your ground in that. Refuse to allow somebody else to get you all upset, all, you know, agitated, you know, and, 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 and all of a sudden now you don't even feel good in your own skin. Why? Because you're giving away that power to somebody else to decide who you're going to be. Secondly, if you're going to control, I'm talking about controlling the, the thermometer in your own life, Right. So if you always want your life to be warm and sunny and fun and right and happy and joyful, you're going to have to control the environment in your own house. That means in you. Let me be really clear. Your own house is your own mind, your own heart, your own soul, your own spirit, your own body. That is your own house. You get to control the temperature in your own house. Secondly, if you're going to control the temperature in your own house, stay focused on your own agenda. Now you may say, Dr. Vernon, are we talking about agendas now? Yeah, I'm talking about agenda. You should have an agenda for your life. Do you not? Do you not have an agenda for your life? Why do you think businesses work? You know why they work? They work because somebody has an agenda. Somebody is saying, here's what we're going to do. Here's when we're going to do it. Here's how it's going to work. Here's how it's going to go. Somebody has an agenda. Question, do you have an agenda for your own life? You know, just recently on some of my Facebook stuff, and I, I do this really fun stuff on Facebook. I mean, half, half the time, it just really is life lessons that I'm giving to you. Like one of the things, I think it was from Motivation Monday. Um, I said, you know, we only have a few weeks left before the, you know, the, the end of this year, the beginning of 2022. Why not use these last few weeks to really push your agenda? to really push your focus, to really get done those things that you really have been wanting to get, get done all year long. Instead of relaxing during this time and kind of hanging out in the holidays, why don't you use this time to intensify, get re-energized and get this stuff done. So when you go into 2022, you are going in strong, not going in like, oh, okay, here we go, let's start again. If, you're the, if you are going to control your own your own temperature in your own body, in your own life. You must have a plan and you've got to stay focused. You've got to have an agenda. Make sure that you have an agenda. And the last thing is that if you are going to stay focused and make sure that you are controlling the temperature in your own life, you've got to make sure that you do your work right now in getting anyone out of your life who is not adding to your life. Anyone out of your life who you have been giving, just, just giving away your power to over and over again. And these aren't people who necessarily you have to have. These are choice people. You've chosen them into your life. They're not, you know, they're not what I call just is folks. You know, just is folks is your family. Yeah, right. Just as folks are your spouses and or for those of you who are divorced, your ex-spouses, these people are in your life, whether you like it or not. Doesn't mean, however, that you allow them to what? Dictate the temperature in your life, the temperature in your mind. What are you really thinking about? The temperature in your emotions. What are you getting upset about? Are you calm? Are you joyful? Are you allowing someone else to turn the thermostat up? You know, some people will say things like, you know what? Uh, you know, they just make me sick. Nobody's making you sick. Nobody's making you sick. You're making yourself sick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They made me feel nobody's making you feel nothing. Nope. Nope. 
Now, some of you looked at me like, Dr. Verna, how can you say that? I'm saying it because it's true. Nobody can make you feel one thing. You have chosen to go to your personal thermostat and you've chosen to turn it up or turn it down. You are in total control of your feelings. No one can make you feel anything. You are choosing that to do. So a part of what you get, get to do is with your choice, people you've chosen, your friends, your colleagues, these are people you've chosen into your life. If there is anyone in your life right now who you have been giving away power to, who you have been allowing to change the temperature in your life, I'll give you an example. You were doing just fine. Everything was going well with you. Everything was going well with your business, with your family. Then all of a sudden, a friend from the past shows up. Now there's more drama in your life. Now, you know, issues, challenges are showing up in your life. Now you're more stressed out. Now you're more tired. Now you're more agitated. Why? Because you have allowed potentially a subtractor. Because you know, there are four types of people from my first book, The Power of People, Four Kinds of People Change Your Life. Add of subtractors, multiplies and dividers. You know that potentially they could be a subtractor. And if they are a subtractor, guess what they're going to do? They're going to shift the temperature in your life. Do your people work? If you have subtractors right now in your life, you've got to move them out and or you've got to simply manage them so well that you can still stay in control of the environment in your own life. Here's the question for you. What kind of environment do you want in your life? And are you protecting that environment? And if not, it's time to get to work. All right, let's go ahead and finish up with our change your life affirmation, which is exactly what you will have to do if you are going to change your environment. You can learn more about me at drvernaprice.com. Would love to hear from you. And let's go ahead and finish up with our affirmation. This is my life and I get to change it when I want to, how I want to, if I want to, because it was given to me. And that makes me very valuable, very important, very lovable, and extremely powerful. All right. We'll see you next time. Bye. Get caught up on previous episodes of Dr. Verna's Virtues at ShalettaMakesMeLaugh.com. It never fails. Every fall, I fall into a funk. Daylight Savings Time used to have me singing the blues until I found some help at BetterHelp.com. Better H-E-L-P.com. It's an online resource that matches you with your own licensed professional therapist. Listen, ain't no shame in talking to somebody about how you feel. Your mom and your friends are great to talk to when you have problems. They're your go-to, but sometimes you need a professional, and that's where you need to call BetterHelp.com. Sometimes it's the only way to get your happy back. BetterHelp.com offers secure online counseling, either over the phone or via video. Now it's not a crisis line, but BetterHelp.com has counselors who'll help you with your anger, stress, depression, or anxiety. The good news is that they're more affordable than traditional in-person counseling sessions. But you know what? If your money is funny, don't worry. BetterHelp.com even offers financial aid. Let BetterHelp.com help you get your happy back. Log on today to BetterHelp.com dot com.